Here's a quick demonstration that will give you an understanding of low emissivity or low E glass. The first model shows how low E glass is used for solar control. The heat lamps in the back simulate infrared light or heat radiation from the sun passing through the glass and touching the radiometers, the two glass bulbs on the other side. The speed at which the vanes spin inside the radiometers indicates the level of heat coming through the glass. The faster the vanes spin, the more solar energy is passed through the glass. On the left side is a 1-inch insulating glass unit, or IGU, of two 6mm lights of clear glass. And on the right side is a 1-inch IGU of two 6mm lights of SolarBand 70 glass, formerly SolarBand 70XL glass, a solar control low-E glass by Vitro Architectural Glass. As you can see, the radiometer vanes on the clear glass side are spinning very quickly, indicating that the clear glass is blocking very little of the solar radiation, while the vanes on the solar control low E glass side are spinning very slowly, indicating a great deal of infrared light is being blocked by the glass. In fact, an IGU with solar band 70 glass blocks 75% of total solar energy, while the clear clear IGU blocks only 39%. We know that glass does three things with solar energy. It reflects, absorbs, and transmits parts of the light spectrum. Although we can't see it, we know that a certain amount of solar energy is being absorbed by the glass, but we can see solar energy being transmitted and reflected. In this model, we'll show you what glass does with solar energy. Here, we've added radiometers on the outside of the glass to demonstrate the performance of the glass in relation to solar energy on the exterior of the building. We've added protective panels to shelter the glass from the direct energy of the heat lamps that represent the sun. On the left side, we have the IGU of clear, clear glass. The radiometer on the outside is spinning very slowly, indicating that very little energy is being reflected by the glass. And the radiometer on the inside is spinning very quickly, indicating that most of the solar energy is being transmitted right through the glass. On the right side, we have the IGU of solar control low E glass. As you can see, the radiometer on the outside of the glass is spinning very quickly, indicating that most of the energy is being reflected by the glass, while the radiometer on the inside of the glass is spinning slowly, indicating that very little energy is being transmitted through the glass. So, when used on a building in an air conditioning dominated climate, solar control low E glass will help keep solar energy out, enabling more efficient cooling and allowing smaller HVAC systems to be specified. For more information about the types of low E glass and how they work, or to ask any glass question, please visit vitroglazings.com or call 855 VTROGLS 855 887 6457.